This is an expired listing. If you're trying to pull off the Burr strategy, you're going to need to know about expired listings and how to work with those sellers. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Everyone, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm your host, James Wise. You are watching Holton Wise TV. This is the show where you get me one-on-one, -on -one, right? I work with you guys one-on-one -on -one to fulfill your needs, okay? You guys call, email my team, right? Sales at Holton Wise, give us your number. We'll talk to you about what you want to do, how you want to do it, what type of money you're working with, your wants, your needs, your goals. And we'll put together an investment plan specifically catered to you, and then I'll find you properties like this one. I am doing all of that for my dude, John. John, you are an investor in Brooklyn, New York. You came here. Because you got essentially 50 G's. I think you got 30 right now. 20's coming down the line. You got access to hard money, right? Decent chunk of coin. You could do some damage with that kind of coin here in the Cleveland market. Brooklyn, New York, not so much, right? That's why you came here. You want a team to be able to handle everything for you, right? One-stop shop, right? And you want to do some burrs, okay? This is the third property I worked on for you. One you sent to me. It was a dog. I gave you the the uh the straight shot on that one i did the due diligence and i said yo bro don't buy this one even though you could buy it for twelve thousand dollars turned out that was a dud right that was a bad deal right money pit okay next one was one i sent you in illyria i dig that deal quite a bit but i always want to give you options here's the second option i have for you 2122 West 105th Cleveland 44102. This is an expired listing. It expired a couple days ago. It was on the market 184 days. Now it is expired. It was at $60,000 was the price these guys wanted. The listing agent, they only had three photos, all exterior, right? And it's just a, a rundown C-grade property, right? Now, this is a blue-collar neighborhood. Is it rich? Is it, is it the Ritz? No, absolutely not. But we can definitely... Uh, manage and deal with tenants in these areas, right? You want to put Section 8 folks in these particular uh, properties. Now, this one has a tenant paying 800 However, over the long haul, what you want to look at this is actually a $1,000 a month rental because we regularly put $1,000 a month Section 8 tenants in houses like this, right? So if you did that, you'd be bringing in $12,000 a year, spending approximately 5916 leaving you with an NOI of 6084 okay? Now, with it right now, though, I do not anticipate you getting like the current tenant up to a thousand bucks, right? If you did, great. You probably won't, though. The current tenant is paying eight hundred a month, and it's kind of a rundown asset. And you're trying to pull some money out of this too, right? So, what I think we should do is really go heavy on these people because here's what happened, man. Their listing expired. They hired a real estate agent. And for six months, that real estate agent tried to sell their home, and he was unable to do so. So now these people are starting to feel desperate. Oh, man, six months, our listings expired. What do we do? We can't sell our property. That's where we come in and hit them hard, dog. Try to come in with a cash offer of 40 Gs. Now, what you could do, you take the property over. If they accept that offer, you don't do nothing, man. Just collect your rent. 800 bucks comes in. You only spent 40 Gs. Collect the rent until that tenant moves out. Then when the tenant moves out, what we should do is put in about 25 k right? We're going to have to probably do everything to this, right? There ain't no scenario where you're going to burr this without having to do a full cosmetic rental inside, right? So doing the carpet, the walls, the floors, uh, New Home Depot Lowe's quality fixtures in the kitchen and the bath. We're going to do, you know, matching vinyl flooring in the kitchen and the bath, making everything a nice agreeable gray or neutral color throughout, white trim, right? Making it look good, Section 8 approved. That's going to run you cosmetically approximately 20 k Then I have an additional 5 k just kind of like whatever, right? Because I don't know when that tenant's going to move out. We don't know exactly what condition the property will be in at that time, and we don't have the exact information on the mechanicals. Do I have any reason to believe the mechanicals are new? Absolutely not, right? Hey lenders, are you looking to be part of our referral program? If so, send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com.
Big ticket items, big ticket mechanicals. What we're working with, house like this, probably a roof, about five grand, okay? So maybe our five grand goes towards a new roof. Or it can go to a furnace and a hot water tank, right? Furnaces, they last 30 years, cost three grand. Hot water tanks last 15, they cost a grand. Maybe we have to do a roof and a hot water tank. Maybe we have to do a furnace and a hot water tank, right? So roughly five is where I'm at with budgeting. Could go a little higher, could go a little lower, right? So if you did that, you're all into the asset for 65 k At that point, we could slap in that $1,000 a month Section 8 tenant. That would make this a 9.4 cap. And then this is where it gets good. That's when you do the burr. That's when you do the refinance. The bank, because now the property should be appraising for 75 k which is 10 k more than you're into the deal. You do that, the bank gives you back. Fifty-six thousand two hundred fifty of your original sixty-five thousand dollar outlay, which means you only have eighty-seven fifty left into the deal. The deal that brings in a thousand dollars a month. You do the math on that, brother, and that is a thirty-seven percent return on your cash. Thirty-seven percent cash on cash return. That is why people love the burst strategy. That's why you came to me because you can't do anything of this nature in Brooklyn when we're talking about this small, tiny amount of money. So, John, we looked at a few properties. I sent those to you privately. Let me know in the uh, private email of this video as well if you want to make a move on this one or some of the other ones or if you want to get back to the drawing board and start looking at some other investments and go some other direction. Anything you need, brother, I will do for you quickly. Everybody else out there, if you want to work with me in the same way John has done, send my team an email, sales at holtonwise.com uh, and give us your phone number. We will give you a call, talk to you about the process, answer any questions you may have. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.